Back to uh, handguns. Uh, my name is Gene Wojciechowski. Recently, uh, uh, Australia managed to get away or take away tens of thousands, millions of uh, handguns. And in one year, they're all gone. Can we do that? And why, if we can't, why can't we? You know, Australia is a good example. Canada is a good example. The UK is a good example. Why? Because each of them had mass killings. Australia had a huge mass killing about 25, 20, 25 years ago. Canada did as well. So did the UK. And in reaction, they passed much stricter uh, gun laws. Uh, in the Australian example, as I recall, that was a buyback program. The Australian government, as part of trying to clamp down on the availability of automatic weapons, offered uh, a good price for buying hundreds of thousands of guns, and then they basically clamped down going forward in terms of having you know, more of a background check approach, more of a permitting approach. Um, but they believed, and I think the evidence uh, supports them, that by offering to buy back those guns, they were able to you know, curtail the supply and to set a different standard for gun purchases uh, in the future. Now, communities have done that in our country. Several communities have done gun buyback programs, but I think it would be worth considering doing it on the national level if that could be uh, arranged. Remember, I know uh, after the uh, terrible 08 financial crisis, I think one of the uh, programs that President Obama was able to get in place was cash for clunkers. Remember that? You know, getting them off the road and uh, it was partly a way to get people to buy new cars because we wanted more economic activity, and it was partly a way to get old models that were polluting too much sort of off the road. So I think that's worth considering. I, I don't know enough details to tell you what, how we would do it or how it would work, but certainly the Australian example is worth looking at. Thank you for